We are back 9-6, Boston College, the early three-point lead. 15-58 to go here first half. Good defense there by Shamgod, but Wayne Woodward on that nice kind of handoff and screen by Penn hits a two-point field goal. He just made a three, a good start for BC in this game, and they're hitting a couple of shots from the perimeter. 67% shooting for both clubs, but Boston College with twice as many field goal attempts and field goals. Twice as many attempts. One more field goal. <laughs> you know what I meant. I got you. Nice look. Mickey Curley. Line drive jumper goes down. The Providence is trying to trap right now, and Penn is doing a nice job of reading the defense, and BC is moving the ball well. Eagles in the 2-3 zone. Five-point Boston College lead, and Danier Abrams only one touch on the offensive end and no points. His teammates are stepping up early in this one, but they'll need him in this game. Right directing the traffic now for Providence College in that zone, as you can see there. Backing it down right around the free throw line, challenging Providence College to make some outside jump shots. Providence has got to get Crozier the basketball. Oh, careless. Oh, very careless. And, and why force it in there when the zone's packed in like that? Swing it. Yeah. Woodward to the bucket for two. BC is off and running right now with that 13 to 6 lead. Mike, really a good start for the Eagles. They're playing aggressively. Pete Gillen calls the early timeout, 15-02 to go in the first half, 13-6 BC. Seven-point BC lead, 13-6, five minutes into this game. Well, it's been all BC. BC came out, they got that first basket with Penn getting the basketball, forcing Providence into turnovers. Dwayne Woodward is playing exceptional basketball for BC early from the perimeter before and now with a terrific penetration. No help out by the Friars that time. And Pete Gillen had to be talking about the defense and taking care of the basketball and a few other things during that timeout. Seven turnovers in five minutes. We don't even want to project what that pace would be. Somewhere around 56 for the game if they were to keep up at that rate. Crozier hits a three. And the thing about it is BC has been converting. You saw it against the... Providence Friars when they were able to get the steals. Crozier, the guy, if they can get him the ball, he's got that nice touch from the outside. He's got six of the nine. There's Danye Abrams, but he lost the dribble right away. Gets it back to Curley. Abrams, top of the key, lets a three go and makes it. Oh, well, we talked about him stepping out. There's a lot of clutter under the basket. He was able to get it. It's his first three of the year, Mike, huh? So, wow. Big time for it, 16-9, BC back up seven. Boston College playing with a lot of confidence here early in this game. Derek Brown looks to answer, can't. Crozier got away with one over the back. Penn came away with the loose ball. Kicks it to Bevan Thomas, he's gonna try it. Got it! Oh, it's contagious for BC. Knocking him down. We showed the graphic before the game, just 30% in the last four games from three-point land, but they're firing tonight. 19-9, Boston College. Throws you down there on the baseline. Right, looking inside at Garces. Got his pocket picked by Penn, and then Wright commits the foul. <laughs> Got the hands up just in time on that one. Quick defense by BC Mike, and as well as they're shooting threes early in this game, the key for BC is they have come out ready to play tonight, and they're playing solid defense. Nice ball movement again. Scooney Penn doing a nice job running the BC attack, finding open people. And there's Bevan Thomas contributing off the bench. Boston College has hit their last seven shots and eight of ten overall. Three-second violation called on Daniel Abrams, I think, in the paint. No, they called him with a hook in the paint. That'll be his first personal foul. And I think I shortchanged Danier as that was actually his fourth three-point field goal of the year, not his first. So he would have told me that next time I saw him, I'm sure. <laughs> haven't been a lot of them, but still, to have him step out like that is a plus for BC because he needs to touch the basketball. Sham God giving it to Crozier. Tough time getting the handle on the baseline. Crozier comes up with it. And he and Abrams... Tangled up. Tangled up. That's exactly what they were. Tangled up. It's one of those things where you know you get the jump ball, but I'm going to pull it away from you. No, you're going to pull it away from me. It'll come back to Boston College on the alternating possession. The way things have been going from Boston College, I don't think you're going to pull too many balls away from Daniel Abrams. No. Tonight. 
he's got a, an iron grip when he gets the ball. Right here, we've got a jump ball, but this is just one of these. I want to end up with it. Good job by Donnie Gray right in there, in the mix. Man-to-man -man by the Friars. BC the ball on a 10-point lead, 12.45 to go here first half. Abrams can't get it to go down. He was actually looking to pass, I think, to Curley, and then at the last second decided to shoot it. Shamgod on the break. He gets stripped from behind, knocked out of bounds. It'll still be Providence ball. BC's hands are very quick tonight. Shamgod got to get rid of that when he gets to the foul line area. Ndongo Njai is going to check into the game for Providence College, and that looked like it went off. Some guy to me, but... Caught some, caught some sneaker on the way out. Yeah. BC talked about their shooting problems. They're out firing in this one, and twice plus as many attempts as Providence. That's because Providence has turned the ball over nine times in seven and a half minutes. Jamel Thomas knocks down a three. Providence has got some answers. They've got some guys, Derek Brown, Jamel Thomas, that can fill it up. Andy Bedard into the game, number 13 for Boston College. Gets it to Penn. Penn is covered by Shamgod defensively. That's a heck of a matchup. Crozier jumps out. Brown's on Bedard. Njai's got Curley. Abrams comes high. BC at 15 on the shot clock. Bedard. Bingo. Off the bench, contributions working well for Jim O'Brien in this one. Bedard and Bevan Thomas getting it done. Boston College has not done much wrong here in the first nine minutes of this game, and they lead it by nine, 21-12. Derek Brown, Njai is going to take it on the baseline. No rebound, and Bevan Thomas is there in traffic to take it. Strong board. I don't think that's the shot Pete Gillen wants. Get Njai around the basket. Have others take the three. And the crossover move gets stripped. Thomas gets it ahead. Abrams is back. Shamgod takes it in and gets two. One of the better breaks for Providence. Off the good defense. Able to finish. Shamgod very, very quick coast to coast. First two of the night for Shamgod. Makes it a seven-point game at 21-14. And Derek Brown is called for a hand check at half court. Certainly got the attention of the Friar faithful. <laughs> It characterized that, I believe, as a touch foul early in this one. Njai jumps out on Penn. That leaves Jordan alone. He gets it in low to Thomas, gets it back outside. Jordan can make that shot. And another hand check is called, this time on Njai. Well, as a player, when I saw referees make calls like that early, just you've got to play defense with your feet. They're not going to allow that pushing on the hip. Bedard, nice little ball fake. Brown's got some size on Bedard, though, so he was able to get back into the play. Jordan kicks it out. Jordan's going to take the deep one. No rebound tipped, controlled by Thomas. The up quick, Jordan nearly stole it. It goes out of bounds. It is going to be Providence ball right in front of the Boston College bench. Jim O'Brien's club has played very well the first nine and a half minutes, and I think there are a lot of questions that he thought were going to be answered about his team in the first nine and a half minutes of this game. They have passed that test successfully. Well, they've been falling behind. He wanted them to get off to a good start. They've done it. Providence, though, despite the turnovers, with a chance to close here to within five if they can get one to go. Crozier, good look inside. Derek Brown delays, can't finish. Rebound loose. Derek Brown has got it again. And let's see. We've got a reach in this time. It's going to go against the Boston College. Bedard will pick up the foul. Well, Derek Brown with a nice hang time move here. That ball just won't go in for him. That was a good pass to get it to him. And then the reach in right there. Shangon set to inbound, skips it out to Thomas. Providence will reset their offense. Shamgod into the paint. The floater too hard off the glass. Jordan tips the rebound away. Njai keeps it alive. And Thomas tracks it down at half court. So many quick hands and quick feet on the court tonight. You've got to really get rid of that ball. 
Njai on the cut, unable to handle the pass. Crozier, though, did come up with it. Derek Brown takes a tough shot and makes it. That's what Derek Brown's been doing. He's been on a real tier, 31 in the last game against UConn, 22 before that against St. John's. Bevan Thomas in his pass off the hand to Danny Abrams out of bounds. Ruben Garces is coming back in for Providence College. Austin Crozier will sit down. Mickey Curley has come back out for BC. So it's Thomas Curley, Woodward, Abrams, and Bedard for Boston College. Shamgod, Thomas Garces, Brown, and Njai for Providence. Garces doesn't get the bounce. Derek Brown gets the rebound. Eagles man-to-man -man that time. No boxing out. And suddenly, Providence has got a roll going. Jim O'Brien's going to use a 20-second timeout. And Boston College's lead is down to three. 9.28 to go. One of the things you mentioned early, as well as Boston College is, is playing right now, Ron, it would be hard to imagine Boston College winning a game here tonight in the 80s or 90s. And that's, that's right. where we're headed right now. The pace of this game has been quick from the beginning. They need to probably slow the tempo down. Derek Brown and the athletes that Providence has would love to get into an up and down running match. They've got better size and quickness overall. Jim O'Brien right there, a good settle down timeout. They've shooting the ball extremely well, but suddenly getting too quick with it at the offensive end. You see the field goal attempts are now even as Boston College had a huge advantage there early. Providence on a six nothing run here to get to within three at 21 18. cleaning being done over in front of the Providence College bench, John Cal. <laughs> Doing it all. Yeah. Fine official, John Cal. Is. Really is. As are Donnie Gray and Gene Monchi, the other two officials here tonight. Strong crew once again. Yeah. John has worked the final four, though, I know. But Dard brings it across against the man pressure from Derek Brown. Thomas is on top. Jamel and Bevan matched up. Bevan Thomas pops out and sticks a three. Well, if BC is going to win this game tonight, they're going to need to make perimeter shots, and they're doing it early. Shamgod comes up short, doesn't get the call as he goes down hard. Bevan Thomas comes up with the rebound. Woodward weaving his way up, takes it to the basket, dumps it down. Curley partially blocked. Enjai got a hand on it. And Abrams is going to be called for his second personal foul. Not happy about it either. Better be careful. Two on Danier, the most indispensable player, despite the fact that he only has three points here tonight for Boston College. Early shot gets rejected, and then Abrams will go for the ball right there. Touch foul. It was Garces who originally got the block on Abrams, and there's Danier's reaction to the call. It Austin Crozier's coming back in for Providence. Excuse me, Ron. And Dongo Njai, who really puts some bounce into Providence's step when he comes in the game, goes to the PC bench. It looked worse in live action, Abrams' reach, than it did in that replay, which we have the benefit of, but looked like he had a lot of ball on that tap. Shamgard kicks it out. That's a deep three from Thomas. Pros the tip, Derek Brown, right place, right time. Providence really starting to assert themselves on the offensive boards, getting second and third chances and converting. Derek Thomas, Derek Brown rather, has himself eight points. Derek Thomas plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> He's checking. Derek Brown been very consistent for the Friars. Oh, another turnover. See, BC now, Mike, has become flustered over the past several minutes after Providence was turning it over at the beginning of the game. Turnovers nearly even now, 9-8. Providence still with the larger number as Pete Gillen really works a game. Pete doesn't, rarely if ever, sits down. Always on one knee on that towel right at the head of the Providence College bench. Jim O'Brien, a similar coach in that he very 
few times during the game I'll actually go over and sit down on the bench. He is usually working the sideline or instructing Derek Brown. Misses the three. Garces doing what he does best. Throws it back out to Shamgod. Shamgod penetrates, dishes. Brown for two. Nice weave job by Shamgod. Again, second chance for Providence. And they're really finding a way to finish in there. Friars are back in this with 7.30 to go. Down two, 24-22. Crowds into it, too. Woodward to Bedard. Critical time coming up here in the next five or six minutes for BC. That's going to be a foul on Shamgod, and he knows it, his second. One way to quiet the crowd. Best way to do that is to make a basket or slow things down. Going to the foul line certainly works. Both of these teams, by today's standards, are very good free throw shooting teams. Providence at 72% for the season, and Boston College at 71. Sorry, Dwayne, I didn't mean to do that to you. Tends to happen. It's nice to see teams shooting over 70% because we don't find them all that often. Right? No, we don't. Low 60s. Yeah. You see a lot of players shooting in the 50s, and it's really a matter of concentration. Second one goes down. We are going to get a timeout. Three-point Providence lead. You're watching Big East Basketball on Creative Sports. 25-22, our score. Boston College now leading by just three. And Providence is starting to really assert themselves off the glass. Look at Ruben Garces. Three maroon jerseys around him. Nice kick out. And then look at the job by Shamgod to weave around and drop it. That's a nice look, Mike, yeah. to he Derek does, Brown. He does that as well as anybody in college basketball, I think. I mean, real tight interior passing in the paint. Those little two, three foot <laughs> jobs, you know, it gets you a layup. When the ball went out to him, the first thought I had was, how about just taking that foul line shot? And then afterwards, hey, <laughs> he can weave through there. He stays out there. Corey Wright joins him in the backcourt. Derek Brown, Austin Crozier, and Ruben Garces on the front line for Providence. Costas Maglos is into the game for the first time for BC. He's out there with Curly, Thomas, Penn, and Woodward. BC again in the 2-3 zone. Crozier misses the three. Rebound. Tips right to Derek Brown. How many times have we said that so far tonight? Crozier down low. No. But he will get to the free throw line. No doubt about that foul by Scooney Penn. That's one of those cases where Curly and Maglos have the rebound, and two guys on the same team get tangled up. And another second chance for the Friars. All right, Danier with three touches so far tonight. Good for three points or rebounds. Just and two no, no free throw yeah. attempts, and he lives at the free throw line. Just two shots. In the one basket he made, Mike, he had to step out from three-point land. He averages 18 points and eight rebounds a game in his six career games against Providence College. Not so, so far tonight. Crozier has seven. Providence College now is within one at 25-24. Nice comeback by Providence. BC really came out firing in this game, making threes, forcing Providence to turn it over, and now Pete Gillen's got his club as the aggressor. Friars getting into their full court pressure. Woodward able to get into Thomas. There's the trap and a foul. Offensive! On Bevan Thomas and Jim O'Brien is really up and at Donnie Gray. Well, I think what happened there is Thomas had just spotted Corey Wright's hand away prior to the inbounds pass, and maybe Donnie Gray had seen that because it looked like Wright just went down on this play. Let's see. Bevan Thomas, the trap. Well, this is a little bit of that left elbow. Yeah. Clear out. I didn't see it that clearly, obviously, on the, on the uh, when it first happened, but he really did punt in there. Friars a chance to take the lead. Corey Wright, the dish baseline. Crozier, no rebound. Magler, strong one. Make of his shot. Missed by Austin Crozier. Here's Penn trying to use a curly screen. Little stop and go move. Has to dump it to Thomas. Now Curly. Shamgar, and we got a hand on Woodward's pass. Curly, a little trouble getting the handle. This is an adventure so far here for Boston College, and they get bailed out. And they'll get a foul and get to the line, it would appear. Very choppy uh, offensive set there. Passes around guys' feet. They've got to move the ball more crisply. 
Connecticut, the four-point lead on Seton Hall at the half, 33-29. That game being played down at the Metal Lens. Thomas, Garces blocked it the second time, too. Derek Brown on the break. Loses the dribble, gets it to Shamgar. Crozier. Providence just sealing things off inside right now for Boston College. Crozier trying to go off the dribble. Kicks it back out to Shamgard, fakes it. Corey Wright inside Crozier. Double clutch, no, gets it back to Garces for two. Nice pass by Crozier. Boy, the big people for Providence have got their heads up tonight. First lead for Providence tonight comes with 5.40 to go. You can tell from the reaction of the 12,000 or so here in the Providence Civic Center. Providence playing very confidently. Even when they were down, there was a sense that they must have realized they were coming back. And BC now careless with the ball. Daniel Abrams will sit down along with Bevan Thomas. So it's Penn, Woodward, Granger, Curley, and Maglos. A 17-6 Boston College deficit over the last six or so minutes. Eagles go man-to-man -man now. They've been playing a lot of zone, trying to pick it up intensity-wise. Also a chance to box out better if you've got your own man to screen down there. Providence has a lot of tough matchups, though, if you try to play a man. Shamgod back rims the jumper. Woodward loops the pass cross court to Penn. Penn taking a strong, kicks it. Granger. The pull up goes down. Nice penetration by Scooney Penn that time. Good things can happen when you do that. First two for Granger. Garces in traffic out to Crozier. The three stays in there. <laughs> it had a notion to pop out. What a sweet touch by Crozier. Penn can't answer with the quick shot. Big rebound in traffic by Jamel Thomas. It'll still be Providence ball as it was slapped away. Good action in this game tonight. Both clubs are really going after each other. Njai up off the Providence College bench. He'll be coming back in. Shamgai penetrates, throws it up, and in! Great athletic move. Shamgod doing what he does best, getting it to the bucket. Four-point Friar lead as we approach four minutes to play in the first half. Maglos and Granger exchange. Granger well short with that. Maglos, nice play. Throws it our way, though. <laughs> Bad hands by Perry and Gorman. We're going to get a timeout. 3.52 to go in the half. Well, if you walked out for about 10 minutes of this first half, you're looking at that score and you're going, what happened here? Well, Providence has just dominated the last eight or nine minutes of this game, as you can see. They've sealed off the inside. Look at the blocking job by Garces, making it very difficult for BC to score, and now they're really finding some seams. Shamgod, with that nice penetration drive, able to finish it off, and suddenly the Friars up in this one. They kept their poise. I don't think you can play this kid man-to-man. Yeah, very tough. BC is going to have to play a lot of 2-3. Abrams is playing out there with two fouls. Forced Providence to shoot jump shots and then try to get some rebounds. 22-8 Providence run the last nine minutes. Boston College is back in that 2-3 zone that was successful for them early. Crozier's going to take it. Short with it. Jamel Thomas tried to keep it alive. Dania Abrams has it slapped away. Thomas battles. Thomas the foul. It's a good call. You have two guys really hanging on him. Abrams just went up and got that tip ball. And Danny Abrams will, with 3.33 left to go, as we give you a peek at what's coming up at the half, we will cover the Big East Wire for you, give you scores and highlights from around the league, and check out some of the fantastic finishes that have been going on in the Big East over the month of January. Next Saturday at noontime, it's going to be the Connecticut Huskies at Notre Dame. Hope you can join us for that one. I will be at Notre Dame doing that thing. Golden Dome. Up there. New Rockney. You got it. All that. You've been there, huh? <laughs> Notre Dame is playing pretty good basketball at home this year in Connecticut. Looking for a couple of W's. 
Abrams capitalizes on the opportunity, gets his club back to within two at 31-29. Three minutes and about 25 seconds left to play here in the first half. Looking for Derek Brown back in this lineup. They could use his outside shooting ability. Jamel Thomas has to kick it back out. Right back inside. Crozier goes to the floor for it. Keeps it alive and gets it to right. Good hustle by Crozier that time. Fresh 35 seconds. Thomas. Well, that's, that's a big time shot, isn't it? That's an NBA move right yes, there. The is. jumper. <laughs> Stefan Marbury, Jamel's cousin, would be proud of that one. Lincoln High School in Brooklyn. Blocking foul is going to be called, and I think it's on the right, is it? Fire foul yeah. is on number 10, Corey Wright. Yep. Second and team eight. Here's that move by Jamel Thomas. Coney Island on the playgrounds. He dropped a few of these baseline jumpers. Just went up and rose. Nice touch. Scooney Penn at the line, one and one. 33-29, four point, prior lead. And rolls in the free throw. Five Derek points Brown. for Scooney on the night. Derek Brown comes back in for PC. Njai will sit down. Brown is the game's, well, he's not the game's leading scorer now. Crozier has 11, Brown has 10. Talked about those guys at the beginning. They continue to produce very well for the Friars. Penn makes his free throws. He has six. Providence College, the ball, and a two-point lead. Pace has slowed down, too, Mike News. Much more up and down five or six minutes ago. Shamgar, the dish, Crozier, taking a lot of shots tonight. Buries that one. Yeah, he is. They're looking for Crozier tonight. He's the best offensive force, I believe, on the team, although Brown certainly can put the numbers up. 13 for Austin. Penn looking for a little screen from Abrams. And another hand check is called. On right, it'll be his third. Fire foul number 10, Corey Wright. His third team. Ruben Garces is going to check into the game. Wright sits down. That'll move Shamgod defensively over onto Penn. Scooby Penn back to shoot 1 1 at the free throw line. Made his last two there. Well, BC can get right back in the game, make some foul shots. They do that very well. Boston College has made more free throws than the opposition have attempted. And that's a remarkable stat. That means you're getting the ball inside a lot. That's Danye Abrams and guys really penetrating to the goal. One of two at the line. Shemgai, coast to coast. And he's going to get himself to the free throw line. Mickey Curley will pick up that foul. Just the first on Curley. That should not happen with BC playing a zone. Someone's got to step in and double up. That shows you how quick Shim got in with the ball. Right here, Reed. He just, BC's just not back. As he streaks up the court. <laughs> He's improved his shooting touch. He's getting nice rotation on the ball particularly when he settles down from the line as time to set. Nice rotation. Pretty good assist numbers the last couple of games, too. Absolutely. He's one of those kids right now, Ron, you get the feeling if he were to stay in school for four years, he might have a little career at the next level. But if he tries to leave early, he may end up playing in some places that they don't speak a lot of English. <laughs> and misses outside. Here comes Shamgod with the miss. On the break, makes the right decision to Brown. Great block by Penn. That's his good help out defense by Boston College. Woodward slowed him down and Penn able to come over. Watch Woodward slow him down, change the shot, and right away there's Penn. Good double up defense. We are under two minutes to play here. Thomas is going to tee one up and buries a three. Oh. That was a rainbow from downtown. And again, Shamgod, he does a great job of getting in there and kicking it out. Friars with their biggest lead of the night at 40 to 32. Woodward counted, and he'll get to the line as he gets whacked 
on the other side of the basket. <laughs> That was a fine move by Dwayne Woodward and a quick response by BC to that three-point shot. As well as BC played early in this game, they're trying to make some baskets now to just make sure it's close at halftime. Check out the penetration by Woodward. Crozier gives up that baseline. No one helps out there and a nice scoop shot under the basket. It's a good thing Garces has missed with that right cross right there. Oh, that was, that was coming at him, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> you think twice before you uh, throw the lane again. Absolutely. Woodward's had a perfect night. He's 4 or 4 from the field, has made his free throws. He's got 11. Sham guy slapping away the hand of Scooney Penn. Thomas, bad pass. Woodward comes up with the numbers for BC. Penn back to Woodward. He'll get to the line again. So after Providence had opened up an eight-point lead, Boston College making a little noise here to close it up at the half. 117 left to go here in the first half. The key to these games is really the defense, your ability to stop, get a couple of steals, and go out and break. Providence comes back in this game with those second and third chances, and they start to knock down the threes themselves. Nice half by Woodward. Well, I guess he's got a dozen. Billy plays. You know, he's played a lot of minutes. He's a he's a junior, but started and played so many games as a freshman that he's a real veteran out there. Averaging just 10 points a game in conference play, he's got 13 here in the first half, and his club is back to within three after slipping behind by eight. 1-3-1 one, one by BC. Abrams sitting with two fouls and BC trying to close the gap before intermission. Crozier wants the ball in the corner. They get it to him a little late as Green is able to jump out on him. They come the other way to Shamgar. Shamgar tries to penetrate. He's stripped by Jordan. Skip pass Woodward. And he looks back at the Boston College bench and gets a play call by Jim O'Brien. This is the top of the head play. Let's see what opens up here. Nice penetration. It's called Dwayne to the hole, I guess. <laughs> oh, nice rejection, though, huh? That Garces again. Yeah. Here comes Shamgar. And he will circle the wagons. Kind of a rough circle, but he gets them circled. <laughs> and Providence will look for the final shot here of the half. Up three at 40 to 37. Trozier or Thomas from the perimeter. Off of a sham god penetration. How's that? You got it. We'll watch and see. There goes sham god, bounces off Penn, comes up shooting. Can't bank at home. Tip won't go. Curly the rebound. And Boston College won't get a shot off. And Providence College has themselves a three point halftime lead. After BC jumped out big to open the game, Providence comes on strong. They are tough when they lead at the half. We'll see what happens. Our halftime score here at the Providence Civic Center. The Friars 40, the Eagles 37. Back with our halftime activities right after this. Tonight's Big East. Welcome back to the Providence Civic Center, everyone, where Providence has themselves a 3.40 to 37 lead. I'm Mike Gorman, along with Ron Perry and... Uh, We've played one half, but it seems like we've watched two. The first 10 minutes belonged to BC. They really did. Then Providence settled down, started taking better care of the ball, getting second chances, and they really made a good second half of the first half surge. BC coming up with some steals early. It seemed like Providence had a nine, nine turnovers early in this game, and BC was shooting threes and penetrating Woodward with a beautiful drive right there. Woodward with 13 first half points and some help for Jim O'Brien off his bench. Yeah, and the three-point shooting was coming up big. Bevan Thomas, one of those guys off the bench, hitting a three right here. The three-point shot was definitely a weapon for the Eagles early in the game. Anytime that Providence went man-to-man, God, Shamgard went to the hoop. Great penetrator, nice finish right there, getting into the lane very, very quick. And the threes were falling for Providence College. Crozier had a couple, and Jamel Thomas, this is a deep one. Again, Sham got getting it in there. Nice kick out pass to Jamel Thomas. Crozier also shooting well from behind the three-point line. Let's take a look at those halftime stats. Boston College, 52% shooting. That's pretty easy. You can do that on the road. You would uh, think you'd win, you know? And they had more shots early, Mike. Check it out. Pro Providence with 10 more shots, and 
You can see the three-point shooting also effective for both clubs, the rebounding advantage to the Friars, and Providence converting on those second-chance points. We'll be back here at the Providence Civic Center with second-half action right after these words. Back here in Providence, we're about to start the second half where the Friars have a three-point lead, 40 to 37. Austin Crozier, the leading scorer in the game to this point. He has 13. Dwayne Woodward with 13 on the other side for Boston College. Guard Sham guard Derek Brown, Jamel Thomas, Ruben Gosses, and Austin Crozier are on the floor for Providence College. Shem God, Brown thought about it outside. Now Daniel Abrams jumps out on him. He's out there with Dwayne Woodward, Scooney Penn, Mickey Curley, and Antonio Granger. The kick for Derek Brown underneath Crozier. Outside Thomas couldn't catch and make the clean shot and has his pass picked off. This is how we started the first half. Scooney Penn misses the layup. Oh, he did a great job to get to the basket. He just lost control. Thomas gives it up to Shem God. Shem God penetrates, leaves it for Thomas. Thomas, the hop. And two. Excellent athletic ability by Thomas. He's 6'6", long arms, and he's able to shoot over the front line right there. Coach is always talking about the first five minutes of the second half and how critical they are. Well, you want to get that momentum. You're going into the home stretch if you can do it. Especially so when you're on the road. The tough shot by Curley. No one under that time for the boards. Shamgan in the air with no idea where he was going. And leaves it for Curley, and he buries the little 10 foot jump shot. Four BC points for Mickey Girl. BC with good numbers on that break. Offensive foul on guard Shamgod, and that is his third. A little bit like the beginning of the game where Providence seemed casual early, and they don't seem as prepared as BC to start this second half. Good call. Shamgod just plowing into Woodward on that play. Man-to-man -man by the Friars. Brown jumps out on Woodward. Inside, Abrams immediately doubled by Garces and Crozier. Not a whole lot he's going to be able to do off that double team. See, that's what's happening to Daniel. He gets the ball down low to double up. He's really forced at that point to just reverse the ball. Other people have to step up. Still got to look for him, though, because he'll get it to other people. There's Garces. It'll still be Boston College ball. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Jim O'Brien with the call off the BC bench. Woodward will inbound. Providence even plays man-to-man -man on these inbound plays. Ranger, the big finish. <laughs> See, that's the danger of the man-to-man -man on the inbounds. You can get picked off. Ranger, he was quiet in the first half, too. We talked about him. He needs to put numbers up for BC when they're trying to pull off big victories. Four points for Antonio in the game. It's a one-point game at 42-41. A little over two minutes gone here, second half. Crozier in and out with the three. Brown tried to keep it alive. Woodward comes away with it. He's got help on the break. Makes the crossover and takes it in. Offensive foul called on Dwayne Woodward. Jamel Thomas giving up the butt. That is the first on Woodward. Corey Wright's going to come into the game for Providence College. And Ruben Garces is going to go to the bench. Two-three zone by the Eagles. Trying to force Providence to take some jumpers. Derek Brown, who likes to play that kind of game, will we'll take the jumper if it is there. Crozier, Jamel Thomas, a couple of guys that can fill it up for Providence. Wright leaves it. Brown doesn't get the bounce. Mickey Curley all over the rebound. Nice play by Brown as he nearly forced the turnover out of Scooney Penn. It's an interesting matchup right here with Brown covering Scooney Penn. Big height advantage for Brown. Abrams swallowed by Crozier and a jump ball is called. It'll stay Boston College ball, but Daniel Abrams continues to struggle trying to find some offense. Bounce, Mickey Curley all over the rebound. Nice play by Brown as he nearly forced the turnover out of Scooney Penn. It's an interesting match. 
got to be frustrating. I mean, just three shot attempts in the last game against West Virginia, and the shot's very, very difficult for him tonight as well. And is. inside, Abrams, little jump hook is short. Rebound ripped off by Crozier. That's a great look for Abrams. Just can't get it to go. Right in the lane, throws it off the glass, tips it out of bounds, last to touch it. Corey Wright. How many times tonight where guys get rebounds as they're coming down with it, a lot of quick hands, reaching and getting a hand on the basketball. Pace has slowed down a bit right now. We've had some good up and down action tonight, but right now this is half court basketball. Inside Abrams again. Finds an open curly for two. Good unselfish play by Abrams. Someone has to be open when you double team. And Boston College has retaken the lead. 16.25 to go. And Pete Gillen is going to take a 20 second timeout. Well, Boston College might getting off to that second half start that they had hoped to. They were down three, find themselves up one right now. The double team would look down there to Mickey Curley. And lots of Big East action today, updating Connecticut and Seton Hall. They are tied at 53. About five minutes left to go in that game. We will update you with that one. Winds down. Iowa State and Minnesota in trouble against Northwestern tonight. What a low scoring game. Chance to see Shaheen Holloway a week ago against Rutgers, the fine point guard for Seton Hall. Another good young player, terrific in the Big East this year. Sham God has to kick it out. Thomas is going to take it and make it. Oh. Well, we've seen a lot of games this year where teams have struggled shooting the basketball, but some nice perimeter shooting tonight. Austin Crozier with the big time block, and it goes out of bounds. Well, we have got a timeout, 15.51 to go here in Providence, Rhode Island, and the Friars are up a deuce. 51 left to go here, 45-43, and a reminder, tonight's Big East game is a copyrighted telecast of Creative Sports Incorporated. Any use of the pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this broadcast without the prior written consent of Creative Sports is prohibited. Jamel Thomas with all the points here in the second half for Providence College. Nice look in there, splitting by Shamgod. That's a tough three-point shot, well beyond the line. A couple of guys right on you by Thomas. He's got a nice touch from the outside. Abrams finds Curley again. That play's working. Curley gets two more. Good job by Abrams again with the head up. Ruben Garces continues to sit over there on the Providence College bench. Thomas leaves it. Kroos is going to take it outside, and he buries a three. Well, at some point, depending on how this second half plays out, BC will probably have to show some man. But right now, Providence is getting it done from the perimeter. Providence stays in man. Derek Brown's out on Granger. Abrams trying to back his way in. Does into the lane. Throws it up. No. Rebound taken by Abrams. Second one goes down. Now that time, Providence didn't double up. And it looked like Crozier might have taken an elbow. Comes up. He took hurting. He, he came out of that like, like a fighter comes out of a clinch, like he had been stunned. Days. Yes. Bob Webb. Thomas directing the traffic outside for Providence College. 14.40 to go in the game. Corey Wright turns it over. 15 Providence College turnovers. Woodward Abrams aggressively calling for the ball inside. Couldn't get the clean catch. Now backing his way in. He's got Thomas. Goes the other way. Right to the hole. Doesn't get the bounce. Taken down by Derek Brown. Shamgod on the push to Crozier. Tipped away. Brown right spot. No blocking foul is going to go against Mickey Curley. Play getting a bit physical out there right now. Uh, 
Mickey Curley. That is his second personal foul. Yeah, that's frustration right there with Abrams. A little bit of a shove there with Thomas. And then this sham guard again with the head up. Well, how often do you see, and I'll answer this question myself, a good half dozen times a game, do you see Crozier just make those little touch passes? The ball yeah. spends no time in his hands at all. Some games he just doesn't get it back. Tonight he's had some good <laughs> chances to shoot the basketball, but he does move it. Derek Brown, 5 of 10 from the field for his 10 points tonight to go along with seven rebounds. Bevan Thomas, who played well in the first half, comes in for Boston College. And Mickey Curley goes to Jim O'Brien's bench. Curley's been very solid inside for the Eagles this year. He was coming off the bench earlier, now in a starting role. First points of the second half for Derek Brown. Fires back up two at 49-47. Providence is on. Not an easy team to defend. They've got a number of different weapons out there offensively, and Derek Brown, one of the key guys. Shamgod picking up the intensity of the pressure a little bit. BC goes to Thomas. They try to slip it to Abrams. Penn jumps in to come up with the loose ball, and then Penn gets fouled by Shamgod, and that's the fourth personal foul on God Shamgod. That's going to get Jason Murdoch off the Providence bench. You see Shamgod look back to the bench. He wasn't happy when he saw a sub coming. He just gets tangled up with the feet. That's what happened there. It's sometimes just that half a step, not a push, but the feet tangled up, and, and he tripped him. And the official has to make that call. He goes down. I Absolutely. Mean, you definitely put the offensive player at a disadvantage on that play. Penn trying to work on Corey Wright. Crozier, a great job there battling with Thomas, coming away with the rebound. Right now will run the show for the Friars. 15.40 to go in the game. They're up three. Thomas finds Brown. Crozier wants the ball inside. Wright is going to take it. Back rims it. Rebound to Abrams. Good job by Abrams to get rid of it. Scooney Penn. Crozier again got the initial hand on it. Derek Brown right up the middle on the break. Derek Brown. Foul, Scooby Penn. No question about that one. Clothesline job. There shall be no layups in this game. Oh. Scooby Penn's just missed a couple of jump shots and comes over hard on that one, pulling Derek Brown to the hardwood. Jim O'Brien talking right there, saying, listen, you're getting some good shots out there. I don't want you to get frustrated at the defensive end. Get out there and run the club for Derek us. Brown, the shoot two. Derek Brown is going to shoot two as Jim O'Brien continues to coach and encourage Scooney Penn over there on the BC bench. Scooney missed a lot of time early this year getting the academic squared away, and it takes a while to get that timing back together, and he's playing better and better for the Eagles. 13 points now for Derek Brown on the night. Friars have opened up a four-point lead here in the second half. They led by three at the half. Make it five. Providence with some full-court pressure now. One, two, one, one. Bedard gets it quickly to Granger. Ahead to Thomas. Two on one break. Nicely done. That's a clinic against the full-court pressure. Nice passing. Corey Wright trying to get it back in a hurry. Murdoch. That could have been an offensive foul, and the Friars are fortunate there. Quick answer to BC's basket. First two for Jason Murdoch. Bevan Thomas skips it to Woodward. Abrams wants the ball inside, and the foul's going to be on Jamel Thomas, who's caught in a mismatch with Daniel Abrams. I'm still trying to figure out why Ruben Garces is sitting on the Providence College bench. Maybe he's hurt and we were not made aware of it. From a matchup standpoint, you'll wonder why he wouldn't be out there and be underneath. Nice pass that time over to Danye Abrams against the pressure. We see with the fresh clock. Inside they want to go to Thomas. 
tipped away. Murdoch comes up with the loose ball. Quick hands by the Friars. Derek Brown dishes. Jamel Thomas. Oh, nicely done. Providence right to the basket. No interior defense that time by the Eagles. 56-49. Friars. Bedard gets it back from Granger. Bedard skips it. Woodward. And Jason Murdoch will be called with the hand check. As the fourth team foul on the Friars, first on Murdoch, Boston College has committed three team fouls. Here comes Garces. Sham God, the only one in real trouble. Wright and Thomas playing with three as we speak, with 12 minutes only left to go in the game. Woodward. Thomas the catch. Rebound to Jamel Thomas. Suddenly those threes not going for the Eagles. Pete Gillen calling for some motion off the Providence bench. Derek Brown gives up the dribble. Murdoch, 15 on the shot clock. Derek Brown on the baseline. Garces swings for the hook shot, comes up short. Curley's there. Right off the bench, trying to get into the flow. Garces. Here's Bedard. Abrams trying to take it to Garces. And the foul is called. <laughs> Jim O'Brien <laughs> thought it was a little late coming. It'll go on Ruben Garces. Garces really tried to hold his ground there with his hands up, but Abrams with that penetration really has a knack for getting himself to the foul line. See, the problem for Garces is he just doesn't get position. That first reach was the one that Jim O'Brien yeah. wanted to call. They rode him down there. So Danny Abrams a chance to get to double figures, but more importantly to get BC a little closer here. They are down seven at 56-49, and he makes the first. He's got 10 now on the night. Jim O'Brien, Rick Boyages to Jim O'Brien's left. Dave Spiller was in the picture to the right. But it, a lot of talking goes on during the course of the game. What kind of defense, maybe some matchups. Assistants really work it there with their head coach. Abrams makes them both. He's got 11, and we've got a timeout. 11-19 left to go in the game. 56-51. It's a five-point game. The Friars have the lead at 56-51. We're nearly halfway through the second half. Mike Gorman, Ron Perry. Here in Providence, and on Sunday the 9th, Boston College will take on the Red Storm of St. John's. That one coming your way 12.30 on Sunday the 9th from Madison Square Garden. Janier Abrams coming alive a bit tonight. Certainly, if you look back at his West Virginia performance, he is much better this evening. The number of touches going up as the night goes on, 11 points. Getting to the free throw line a little bit, not a whole lot. He usually is practically double digits in terms of attempts at the free throw line. Providence upping their percentage a little bit, and Boston College's percentage dipping, but you wouldn't have expected BC to shoot 50% on the road against a pretty good defensive team in Providence. Yeah, they started out so well. BC in the one through one zone right now. The skip pass can be very effective against this. Penetrate and look to the weak side. Derek Brown just kind of laid that one down. Garces unable to finish. And Boston College a chance to get a little closer down five with 10.48 to go. They leave it for Bedard. Good look underneath to Curley. Short with the turnaround. Garces all over the rebound. Wright always looking to push it. Gives it to Thomas. Thomas. I thought he was going to take it the first time. He does the second. He's short with it. And Curley gets it quickly to Woodward. Abrams is ahead of the pack. He's got Murdoch. Now Garces gets to him. They find Abrams. Plays catch with Woodward. Out of bounds. And Garces, they say, get a hand in there. It'll still be BC ball. That's where BC, if they can get a couple of chances to push the ball, could get some easy ones. And how about UConn, the Huskies? That's a big win for UConn, off. The disappointing news they received from the NCAA yesterday that Kirk King's career is indeed finished. And they were hoping to get him back by the end of the season, and then they go out and win on the road at Seton Hall. That's a big win. Yes, it is. The 
dart. Abrams open for the 10-footer. Won't stay. Curly, nice job in the offensive glass. Kept his hands up and then finished that shot without bringing the ball down. Nicely done. Curly's in double figures with 10, and we're back to a one-possession game with 9.45 to go. Really settling into much more of a half-court game in the second half. Right. Crozier, again, unable to make the clean catch. Murdoch comes up shooting, a little wild with it. Thomas, the follow. Saying his name a lot tonight, Jamel Thomas, all over the court. Game's leading scorer now with 18. And that's going to be a foul on Murdoch, perhaps, on the way by. That's two on Murdoch. And that's the sixth now on the team. I was wondering how long Pete Gillen would go without God Sham God, and here he is back. He'll play with four fouls with 9.26 to go. Got to be careful, particularly the first few times he goes up and down the floor to not pick up that fifth foul. Abrams trying to find some room, comes up short, rebound, Garces and Crozier combined. Here comes Wright. Gives it to Crozier, fakes it. Abrams there with him, has to skip it back out to Wright. Shamgard now leaves it for Thomas, he's had the hot hand. Shamgar, a step out to Thomas. Thomas pulls up. Not this time. Rebound to Abrams. Abrams asserting himself on the boards. Other end. Going to try to use the glass in some of those shots. He's, he's penetrating, but getting a tough angle to shoot the ball. Bedard shakes right and makes the jump shot. He's got a very nice touch, Andy Bedard. He's put in some good minutes for BC this year. Boston College won't go away here, 58-55. And the Friars take a timeout, 8.25. Left to go, 58-55, PC. And oh yeah, life. Left here in what is still anybody's game. Really is. Abrams getting the ball more for BC. He's having trouble though, he's got to shoot that ball more aggressively off the backboard, go up with authority. You can see the look in his face there. He's frustrated that he didn't make that shot, although on the defensive end, he's really starting to clear the glass for BC. Sometimes when you're in one of those shooting funks, you just have to work yourself out of it, penetrate to the goal in his case, and get to the line, and just keep shooting that basketball. Abrams will be on the court with Bevan Thomas, Mickey Curley, Scooney Penn, and Andy Bedard. Corey Wright... God Sham God, Derek Brown, uh, Ruben Gosses, and Austin Crozier are out there. The province for that was wow. Could see that one coming. Bedard, ball, lucky bounce comes back to BC. He finds Penn short with the jumper, rebound, and from the province reaction, the foul is going against Boston College. I think it's Bevan Thomas who's going to pick it up. That was an adventure that time. The ball just BC couldn't get a handle on it. Two on Thomas, four on the team, so the Friars will just inbound with eight minutes to go. Abrams with the kick, a reset of the shot clock. Fifty-eight, fifty-five. Providence the lead and the ball. Anyone's game here tonight. Providence has been in command, but BC is knocking right on the door. Crozier, the catch, and the three. <laughs> Crozier just gets better. He can shoot that ball with distance. He can also go inside and hit the boards. 61-55 with seven and a half to play. 19 for Crozier, 18 for Jamel Thomas to lead the way for Providence. Bedard. Crowd looking for a traveling call they didn't get. They get it to Abrams. Immediate double by Garces. Curley gets the bump in the bucket. Good no call. Curley is 5 of 7 shooting here in the second half. 10 of his 12 points. Shamgar exchanges with Derek Brown. 
Shamgod pulls up in the lane and knocks down a jump shot. That just makes his game that much tougher. If he can start to do that, that'll make his penetrations and passing game that much better. Crunch time here for Boston College as we're under six and a half minutes to go in the game as possessions start to become very important. They're down six inside Abrams. And a foul is called before, right on the catch. Austin Crozier picking it up. That's just his first foul. Well, it's, a, it's been a battle down low tonight. Both ends of the floor, and you can see Crozier. He's riding them and pushing. There's a certain level which you establish in a game, and that one did go above and beyond with the arms on the back. You can see Gene Manji kind of explaining the forearm. <laughs> Crozier saying, yeah, it was a little bit going the other way, too. <laughs> Abrams will shoot the free throws. Garces goes back to the Providence College bench. Jamel Thomas has come back in for Providence. Pretty soft touch, Danny Abrams has. He's 5 of 5 at the line tonight. The lead is 5. Providence has it at 63-58 as Jim O'Brien checks out the scoreboard on the far end. Abrams got them both. This is more Abrams' game right now, getting to the line, trying to power it inside. You would think it's definitely to Boston College's advantage to play a half-court game the rest of the way. Yeah, get the zone going, try to get inside rebounding position. Derek Brown knocks down a three. And got knocked down, I think, on the shot. 17 for Brown. Three-point shot's really been a weapon for Providence and for BC, for that matter, tonight. A bigger gun in the Friars' arsenal, though. Abrams for two. That was a nice move. Five-point game at 66-61. Five minutes, 48 seconds to play. Well, when you're playing come from behind ball, as BC is, though, you need a couple of stops defensively, and Providence is making the conversions. Shamgard laying it down. Brown unable to finish, has it tipped away. Loose ball. Bevan Thomas has got it. Gets it to Scooney Penn. And Jim O'Brien, again, comfortable in this half-court game. Immediately slows it down and calls it for. Really trying to isolate Abrams with some screens. Nicely done. Can't finish, though. Rebound tip. Abrams goes and gets it. Rejected by Crozier. Loose ball. Thomas has got it. Friars in transition. Oh. Brown for two. Wow, that was a big break. No conversion by BC and a nice break. I think Jim O'Brien just got hit with a tee. I think you're right. Wasn't happy with what went on down here, Mike. A carryover as that basket went in on the break. No basket. Austin Crozier here is going to be shooting some free throws. Technical foul in Boston College. They're saying no basket, Mike. I think the technical foul was called. Yeah, I think you're right. Basket. I think you're right. Jim O'Brien's not happy here. I'm sure he wants a foul in there. A lot of contact. Crozier makes a free throw, but takes two away from Derek Brown. And give two to Austin Crozier. But the exchange not as bad as it could have been if the, if the Brown basket counted. Although Providence will get the basketball now, too, leading by seven. 68-61, five minutes and eight seconds to go. 21 points on the night for Austin Crozier. He is the game's high scorer. A basket here by Providence College would be very large for their cause. Especially with this kind of pace. Every possession's been, you know, pretty tough for BC to find good shots and score. Right into the lane, finds the man. It's Derek Brown. Got those two back that he didn't get on the break. Boston College wants a timeout. Jim O'Brien still some words for Donnie Gray. 4.45 left to play. We are back, and it's time for us to take a look at the Pizza Hut plays of the game.
Three-point shooting has really worked well for Providence. Here's Austin Crozier, right baseline, knocking one down. And they've been turning up against this BC zone. A lot of it courtesy of the penetration by Shamgod, and there's another one there by Derek Brown. The Friars, nine for 18. Pizza Hut time. Brought to you by Pizza Hut, making it great again and again. And Austin Crozier has been doing it again and again tonight as he and Derek Brown, as we mentioned off the top, a very high scoring front court. And now Boston College with 4.45 to go. It's still a three possession game, but they are down the full limit of those three possessions, nine, 70 to 61. Can you throw in Jamel Thomas with those two guys? That's a high scoring front line tonight. 10, leaves it. Woodward, who had the hot hand early, misses the three, Derek Brown fouled by Daniel Abram. That will be the sixth team foul, so Providence College won't be shooting free throws yet. These are all big shots for BC. They're down nine. They're gonna really have to put some pressure on now. It's like they're out of the zone, Mike. They're extending. Man to man. Scooney Penn's gonna get up there on right. Granger over there on Derek Brown. Dwayne Woodward has got Shamgod. Mickey Curley on Austin Crozier. Crozier really wants the ball. That's the matchup you would think Providence would go to. Crozier. Penn comes digging. Crozier will get to the free throw line. The foul will be on Penn from behind. See, that's Crozier stepping up. Uh, he wants the ball now. Providence is starting to look to him as a go-to guy and showing us that he can shoot outside as well as post up. Well, Mickey Curley's a nice player, but he can't cover Austin Crozier one-on-one. -on -one. Crozier too quick, too many moves. He'll just take him outside the three-point line and shoot it from there. That's what makes Crozier so tough to cover. 6'9", but he can shoot that ball like a backcourt man. He's got 22 now on the night. Friars might be their largest lead, 10, or close to it. Barry's both the free throw. Very efficient performance by Austin Crozier here tonight. And time is running short for Jim O'Brien's kids. Penn, Corey Wright's gonna be called with the bump, and Corey Wright has not seen eye to eye with these officials all night long. No, it hasn't clicked. The thing now is for, for BC, too, is if they can get themselves to the line, make a couple of free throws, four to go, they've got to make their run right now. Scooney Penn for the one and one, and he misses it. Rebound, chip. Danya Abrams, a nice job. Forces it back up, blocked by Derek Brown. Out of bounds. Still BC ball. A lot of contact there. Abrams goes up. I mean, he's big and strong, but he could have well found himself on the line on that one. Inside, Abrams can't do it. Woodward can't do it. Ball tipped. Curly's got it. He swallowed up. Granger in and out. Rebound. Granger again. But BC needs this one. Woodward takes it in. No! Abrams, yes. Abrams just cleared everyone out at the end and finally just put it down. BC would not be denied that time. Six shots, I think, at the goal. It's a nine-point game. Dwayne Woodward is going to be called for foul as he grabs God Shamgod on the way by. I'm not sure that's not a good foul. I, I think, uh, what do you think? In a nine-point game with 3.20 to go, do you have to think about fouling certain people? I think you do at times, Mike. You, you, and if you do it, they, the thing there for BC is they did it before that shot clock got way down. That's the thing that's the problem. Got to get a couple of misses, particularly where it's the one-on-one -on -one bonus opportunity. Garces is in for Derek Brown. God, unable to capitalize on the opportunity. Here comes Boston College down nine, 72-63. Scooney Penn, little crossover move, beats right. Air ball. Wow. Thomas comes away with it. Really, look what move by Penn. Look great till he shot it. Yeah. yeah. Shamgod again. Woodward trying to slap it away. Shamgod 
penetrates. And a blocking foul is going to go on Mickey Curley. And that'll be the third on Curley and the ninth on Boston College. Here's Shimba with that penetration again, Mike, just going around Woodward, who played him tight. Make that the fourth foul on Mickey Curley, so Shamgott again will be at the free throw line on the front end of the one and one. Nine points now for Shamgott on the night. Ten points, believe. Providence has tended to win ball games this year when Shamgott has scored in that eight to ten point range and dished the basketball off as opposed to tonight, but he's gone for bigger points. Look at Garces. Wow. Garces is just a terror on the glass. He goes after every rebound like it is personal. Shemgod for two. It's 75-63, a 12-point Providence College lead. Curley over the top to Abrams. And Danye will get himself to the free throw line with 2.29 to go. Still a lot of time to go, but BC has really got to make that run. You can see, look at Shamgod. He has just been terrific, knifing his way to the basket tonight. That time the lane opens up for him. Puts the Friars up by a dozen. Ruben Garces with the foul on the other end, his third. And Daniel Abrams with 17 points will be at the line again for two more. Two minutes, 29 seconds left to go in a 75 to 63 game. Well, Daniel's got 14 shots off tonight. It doesn't seem like he's gotten 14 off, but certainly has been much more involved in this offense tonight. Derek Brown is going to check back in for the Friars, and Ruben Garces will go out as Pete Gillen will try to do some offensive and defensive substituting here. Get Brown in to shoot free throws. And Although Garces was key that last time on the missed free throw, keeping the ball alive. Garces has really sat a lot tonight. Yes, he has. 19 points now for Danier Abrams. He'll take a brief rest on the bench as Jim O'Brien gets Jordan in for the pressure defense. Boston College. Full court pressure. Ball comes in easily to Thomas. He lets the dust clear, and he'll bring it up himself. And a reach-in foul is called on Keenan Jordan. And here comes Danny Abrams back into the game for the offense at the other end. That's the tenth personal foul on the Eagles here in the half, so the Friars on all fouls now will be shooting two. Jamel Thomas went over to the Providence bench to slap five with NJ and Jason Murdoch. I'm going to have to find out what's behind that. Getting everyone involved? I guess. <laughs> Couldn't get the bounce on that. The lead stays at 10 with 225 to go. So you're better off to get over to the foul line here and concentrate on I was just the say, matter at hand. I was going to say. <laughs> he gets the second after a couple of favorable bounces. 76 65. It's 11. BC's going to look to push now. You can't be walking the ball up, be aggressive with it. Woodward gives it up to Penn, right on him. Granger with Thomas. Curley looking for Abrams, hands it off to Granger instead. Got to be looking for threes, too, if they present. Woodward, nice drive, throws it up, no, and I think the foul's on Crozier as he got over the back of Curley. Second foul on Austin Crozier, who is going to be our forward player of the game here tonight. Good effort inside. Crozier doing it all tonight. Nice rejection there. Put the points up. Really been a force for the Friars. Twenty-three and eight, along with a couple of blocks for Austin Crozier, our forward player of the game, Mickey Curley, missing that free throw. Both teams now are over the limit, so all fouls are going to be two-shot fouls. Crozier's stock just continues to go up in this his senior year. Curley misses them both. Corey Wright is grabbed by Keenan Jordan. 
Keenan Jordan in there with instructions to not let the clock move too much. He's been giving quick fouls in the back row. Been his role last couple of times. Playing catch-up ball as BC has been trying to do. They got close. They just couldn't close the gap in this second half and get themselves even. And then you start missing free throws and Providence hitting threes. That's been the story in this second half. Derek Brown back out. Ruben Garces in. Derek Brown has the double-double tonight with 19 points and 10 rebounds. And Corey Wright will get a chance to make a couple free throws. And get his first points of the night if he can. He's going to have to still work on that. Pretty awesome effort by the front line. Brown, Thomas, and Cro Crozier mm -hmm. for Providence. All big numbers. That's with Garces with just two points. We had him a week ago where he had 17 against St. John's, and he's dominated inside. We've been watching Garces a little bit, too, when he goes to the bench. He keeps taking what looks like a sponge and sque squeezing water over the top of his head. So he might be a victim of the flu or something. He seems to be trying to cool off all the time. Down low, Crozier got another block. Garces got a rebound. A little bit heated down low. It's another one of those plays where there's the jump ball thing. Officials jump right in there. Certain level of frustration as well. Good defense inside. Crozier got the block. Garces has the rebound there, and then... It, it's tough to get a jump ball from behind. Yep. Curley with a good put a bear hug hold on Garces, and he was frustrated, had enough of it. That's the fifth personal foul on Mickey Curley. He's gone. Much to the delight of the Friar faithful. Jim O'Brien will use the time for an impromptu timeout, and the Friars go hustle around. Pete Gillen, nice job by Curley, especially here in the second half, as he had 10 of his 12 points. Seven rebounds, two for Mickey Curley tonight. Another solid effort. The final was UConn 62, So Jim O'Brien. Let's see what's coming up on the schedule for Jim O'Brien's club. They have Syracuse, St. John's, Connecticut, and Seton Hall all at home. Four games at Conti Forum, and they need to. You almost want to say they need to win three out of those four. They really need to turn it around. They were playing so well, then all of a sudden they've hit this, this skid that they're on right now. They're going to get it home. Syracuse playing better basketball. You're right, Mike. They've got to really turn it up at the Conti Forum. And you know Jim Beheim comes in on Tuesday night, sits in that 2-3 zone, and tells the Eagles to go ahead and beat me over the top. That's they the way they've not been it. able to do, right? Yeah. You've got to hit from the outside. You've got to get the inside game going as well and keep... Keep Danier, who's shown some good signs here tonight, really cranked up. A lot of air under that ball, but Ruben Garces has put it down, and the Friars have their biggest lead, 78-65. Providence playing good basketball right now, Mike, there. Really on a roll. This will be five in a row. Whoa! Still went up high. <laughs> it still did. Here comes BC down 13 with a minute 45 left. Abrams makes it 11. 21 for Danye. Eagles immediately get into their pressure. Crozier gets it up to Thomas. Over to Shamgar. He'll pull it back out. Here comes Woodward to give the foul. Austin College fouls on number 20, Dwayne Woodward. That's three on Dwayne Woodward. His third, two and as I mentioned earlier, we are long since over the limit. Derek Brown and Ruben Garces continue to come in and out on alternating possessions. <laughs> 11 points and 7 assists for God Jam God tonight. And here's a look at what the Friars have coming up. They are... They got more ats on their schedule than BC does. <laughs> Rutgers and then at West Virginia, which is going to be a tough game for them. And it's always tough to go play the Hoyers, who won earlier today, beating St. John's. Granger gets it ahead. Woodward. Crossover move. Inside, Daniel Abrams gets two more. 23, and a quick timeout is called by Boston College, and they're right back in this one. Down by nine with a minute 25 to go. That is if you want to get away and don't have the time to plan the
perfect vacation. Call U.S. All right, Jim O'Brien, I would guess, is going to continue this foul and make him do it at the free throw line strategy, even though it's down to a three possession game. Now. Got it with the clock at one and a quarter here, down nine. Hit a couple of three point shots, get Providence to go cold from the line. That's the only hope right now for the Eagles. And of course, option A is to try to get a steal with that full court press. Iowa State up 11 on Texas, second half. And Minnesota is playing Northwestern tonight. Here's the foul in the backcourt given by Dwayne Woodward. Now that's that quick reach in. Only took three seconds for Providence. They can put this game away if they make their foul shots. Boston College fouls on number 20, Dwayne Woodward. And so it'll be Derek Brown at the free throw line. Brown trying to get himself to 20 points here tonight. He'll need to make one of two to do that. Providence 12 of 19 here in the second half at the free throw line. Brown's got one of those strokes that says you really don't want to foul this guy. No. <laughs> Been very consistent for the Friars. He is 6 of 6 at the line tonight. 21 points overall. The lead's 11 with a minute 20 to go. And Andy Bedard unable to handle the pass. And the Eagles turn it over. Jim O'Brien's club looking like they're going to slip into a three-way tie. And Texas A&M the opponent for Iowa State tonight. And Iowa State up 11. Jim O'Brien and Gene Mongi are still talking on the sideline. Jim is real close to that second guy. Yeah. Very frustrating for Jim O'Brien right now. Again, this was a club that was 7-1 and one in the Big East. Had won six Big East games in a row. Now they're 7-4. and four. Played very well early in this game, too. I mean, they really jumped all over the Friars, yes, shooting it. Getting after Providence, forcing turnovers, but they weren't able to maintain that level of intensity. And Providence, to their credit, just chipped away and pulled away in this one. Right, one of two at the line. Woodward takes the little pull-up. Can't bank it home. Ball is tipped right to Bedard. He throws up a runner, and an offensive foul is called on Bedard. Austin Crozier, our fourth player of the game, stepping in and taking the charge. Now you've got to try to pull up. It's easier said than done on that one, and not go banging in there with too much traffic, but good job defensively by Crozier. The Friars about to extend their record on the season to 16 and 5, and they will be 7 and 3, and for the moment alone, atop their division in the Big East, depending upon how Miami does tomorrow. Boston College now 13 and 6 overall as Crozier adds to his totals. And they will go to 7 and 4 in the Big East Conference. Crozier and Brown have just come up huge at the free throw line. That's the first miss between the two of them tonight. They're combined 13 and 14. Granger tees up a three, short. Crozier there with the miss. And Daniel Abrams has to give the foul over the back. Austin Collins fouls on number 24. Daniel Abrams is fourth. We talked about how good these two guys were, and Derek Brown in wins is the man. He's got 21 tonight. So I guess you could say as Derek goes, so go the Friars. <laughs> and Crozier's numbers, he's just consistent right down the board. He's come up very big above his season average with the points tonight. And we had him a couple of games ago where he was in foul trouble. And look at Crozier with 24 and, and Derek Brown up above his average as well. Abrams comes away with the miss, skips it out to Bedard. We are under a minute to go in the game. Woodward. Continues to look to penetrate, and he gets two. Boston Collins using. Is that their last time out? No, they still have uh, 20 left after this. Now Jim O'Brien's going to work it right down to the end. 
Those are the first points for Dwayne Woodward here in the second half after a 13-point first half. He'll go, he'll go big stretches as he did here where he just doesn't look for his offense, but playing very consistently for BC. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back for the final 45 seconds right after this. Fast has been brought to you by All Over It. It's an 83-71 game here. 45 seconds left to play. Updates on a couple of other scores before we go off the air here tonight. We mentioned how Connecticut, a strong win for them as they defeated Seton Hall 62-55. to Boston College apparently not going to give the foul here. It doesn't look like they are anyway. They come up with the steal instead. Bedard. Woodward catches. Another rebound for Crozier. He has had a big night. Really has, huh? We said his name a lot, so he's always been around the ball. Nice job by the Friars. Providence College will be 7-3 now in conference play. 16 wins overall in the faithful here in Providence. I think the Friars are going to make some noise in March, and they just might. Twenty-five points and ten rebounds look to be the final numbers for Austin Crozier tonight. Woodward comes up shooting, can't get the three to stay. Derek Brown coming up with the loose ball. And Brown and Crozier certainly put on a strong show here tonight. They really did. Controlled the inside. Nice methodical effort by Pete Gillen and the Friars to pull this one out at home. So Boston College came out strong, but it was the Friars in the end. Once again, the final score from Providence Civic Center. Providence, Rhode Island. Providence College, 83. And Boston College, 71. The preceding has been a presentation of Creative Sports. Good night, everybody.